off to, Jeff? Photographic tour of where? Everywhere. <laughs> this coast of Tassie. Here we come. What the hell's going on here, Rog? The Mavic drone is with us this time, and God only knows how many cameras, and Roger's driving us, so we're in safe hands. <laughs> in this journey, we revisit many of Tasmania's premier locations on the east coast, starting at Cape Portland in the far northeast and finishing on Mariah Island. Fancy meeting you here. Strange but true. This is Tregaran Lagoon at Cape Portland. In the lagoon is a pioneer cemetery where some of the far northeast's first settlers are buried. This part of Tasmania was first settled by Europeans in the early 1830s. The Foster, Bowen and Groves families were some of the first to erect buildings at the Cape. Many of these stone buildings are gradually disintegrating due to strong salt laden winds. Today, by prior arrangement, we were to visit the Musselrow Wind Farm at Cape Portland. With its 56 wind turbines, Information about the Tasmanian Aborigine area was also provided. 68 megawatts of clean energy is helping reduce our dependence on dirty coal-fired power stations.
at the campsite, we were allowed to have a fire, which added to the enjoyment of camping out, allowing us to enjoy a few wines and stay up late. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy mate. That's it, just take it easy. Oh, we're through. Getting back up to the view shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is a little bit better than our Lee's hut. What do you reckon, Jeff? Pretty good? Oh, well, you know, when you get used to it. <laughs> On our way to St Helens, here we come. Here we are, Rog, and uh, we're roughing it down at St. Helens. Can you tell us what you're having? <laughs> <laughs> what are we having, Rog?
Okay guys, awesome stuff. It's time to introduce you to some devils. We'll uh, begin with Mungo since he's up and about sitting waiting. Not we'll lose all but four. Out of the four babies, guys, they have four teeth, so they're the only ones that can attach. The other 20 to 40 have travelled to the pouch to find there's nowhere to attach and feed. Starve and die within twisting your opponent tends to look at. There's a difference between the ones. The reality is, guys, if you have a white stripe on your face around your eyes, girls here are competitive, but at the same time, it is unlikely that we ever see bites in this particular facility over foods. And the reason being, the girls here actually get fed twice a day. Here we go, we go duck hunting. Whether she can do it in the water, I very much doubt. I think you're a bit slower in the water, bless you. But <laughs> there you go, you got a nice bit of swimming behaviour from her today. She's going to give it a go. Let's see how we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what beach is that, Jeff? A sea kayaking or cruise boat trip to Shooton Island is well worth the endeavour. Tasmanian weather can be fickle, but the effort is worth it. Shooton Island has magnificent beaches, is relatively isolated away from the usual tourist hotspots. That's all it is. <laughs>
climb to a nearby waterfall, even if it is dry, gives great views and a cool bath. <laughs> How come the waterfall started working? <laughs> well, 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 here we are. Back on oh, Channel Brace and I! <laughs> Paddling along the rocky granite flanks of the island can be full of surprises. On the other hand, you can enjoy the serenity and relaxation of a calm day. Returning to Coles Bay brings a change in the weather. Some way she goes. Let's go, Roger. It's going really well, Rex. <laughs> Can you get wet? No, no. I was a bit surprised just how popular Mariah Island had become as a tourist destination since my last visit when we had paddled across by sea kayak. Between 1825 and 1850, the large brick buildings to house over 600 convicts were built. It didn't take as long to become acquainted with Mariah Island's wildlife. <laughs> Don't walk after him, Rex.
Geologically, Mariah Island is very diverse. The oldest and lowest rocks are folded and metamorphosed sedimentary and igneous rocks called the Mathina group. The top of the island is comprised of Jurassic dolerite, best illustrated by the rugged slopes of Bishop and Clark and Mount Mariah. The vibrant patterns are caused by iron-rich groundwater percolating through porous sandstone. The best time to visit the cliffs is in the late afternoon, when the setting sun illuminates the patterns in glowing colours. Well, what do you think of painted cliffs, mate? Fantastic. As good as I expected. Yeah.